Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. I decided I actually want to do a commentary on this back video. Uh, shout out to my homie Barb. She actually uh, works at the gym that I work at. Um, and this is actually, we, we actually filmed this on Labor Day. She works from 8 to 4, so she opened and closed. She didn't have anywhere to work out. So I said, you know what, fuck it. Come over to my private gym and let's get it in. I trained legs earlier that day, but I hit back with her a little light just to, you know, just shoot the content for you guys. So I'll show, pretty much do a commentary, play by play, as far as what I did in this, in this back um, routine or what she did in this back routine because she was leading it. I was just tagging along for the ride and I'm trying my best to give you some tips and tricks uh, and pointers if you guys want to implement this uh, this back routine. Full, this full routine will be in the description below. Uh, so let's get started with this shit. All right guys, so we started out with some barbell back rolls. We wanted to get the compound movements out of the way. Uh, we weren't planning on deadlifting the entire time. So we said, you know what, let's start off with some back rolls. Now as you can see, Pretty much we got like an arch on our lower back and we keeping the chest up. This is very, very important, especially when trying to make that mind and muscle connection um, with the actual exercise. Any type of back movement, you want to keep your chest up because if you sink that chest down, you may not feel that contraction uh, where you want to feel it anytime you're trying to do um, engage the back. Uh, moving right along, we're going on to uh, some lap pull downs. We weren't going to do any uh, pull ups, so lap pull downs it was. So you can see see how well developed Barb's uh, lats are. She got some crazy fucking genetics. Don't ask me um, <laughs> how she does it. She just puts in the work in the gym, and it is actually paying off. So uh, for me, we actually went uh, I think anywhere between 12 to 15 reps. As you can see, what I'm doing here, I always tell people to let their arms go all the way high so they can stretch out the lats. My arms are way too fucking long, and this lat pull down for some reason was way too short. So I didn't want to re rack the weight and take the tension off of my back. So I just did the best I could, getting that contraction on the lats there. And again, like you can see, chest completely up, driving the tension right to the lats. Very, very, very important. Um, and the grip actually, I did like a kind of like a suicide grip, thumbs over, so that uh, I don't use my forearms um, while I'm doing this actual movement. Now this is kind of the roll machine. Most gyms don't have this one in particular anymore. I don't know why, it's very old school. Um, but if you are someone who has like a lower back issue, um, you won't be able to do the standard barbell rolls that we did in the beginning. Um, these will be your next alternative. These takes away actually all the tension away from the lower back, focusing only on the actual back muscles. And then, you know, you don't have to actually focus on the, you know your stabilizers or your lower back taking a lot of attention this machine does it all so we did a superset as you can see we went uh, a close grip or neutral grip and then we went to a wide grip um, just to get a little more of the upper back developed as you can see the traps are being engaged with that grip a little bit more um, but I love love this machine I wish a lot more gyms had it but wait what can you do we're just gonna make the best of it um, wherever gym we go to uh, the next one is pretty much your standard seated row now with the seated row again, uh, the most important part is that you want to let the actual weight come down and stretch out those laps. Now, when you're pulling back, you want your you, you want to try your best not to uh, let your back go all the way like far back, like you're pretty much laying down because then your shoulders are going to take more of the work. You want to get to about a little bit, maybe 90 degrees, uh, maybe uh, 110 degrees at most. Um, just so you're able to get those lower lats engaged and you're not driving the tension to your shoulders. You can see Barb is fucking working. I'm over here yelling at her. I wish if you guys like the raw footage. Let me know next time and I will definitely throw in some raw footage. But I definitely wanted to throw in some commentary because I found that when other YouTubers throw some type of commentary, I get something out of it. And I'm not just watching people work out. So I hope you guys are liking the commentary versus just me throwing some music and doing some flashy edits. That's not even my kind of style anyway, to be honest. All right, so this next one right here, we got pretty much like uh, face pulls, but we're not really pull pulling to the face. Uh, we're pulling mostly to our chest to get those upper, um, the upper back engaged a little bit more, then superset those with a straight arm push down. Now straight arm push downs is one of those movements that a lot of people get wrong. So I'm gonna try my best to give you kind of like a little tutorial here when uh, when my shot comes up. So I'm still doing the, you know, the rope pulls here as well. As you can see, uh, back is still nicely developed from that cut. Uh, so shout out to, uh, you know, the I think I did 12 week cut or something. First ever cut, it went phenomenal. But back to uh, the straight arm push downs here. So we got, 
pretty much what you want to do with that. I know they call straight arm push downs, but you don't want to keep your arms completely locked and straight. Because if you keep them locked and straight, what's going to happen is that your freaking triceps are going to help you. So the way you want to do it is that you want to keep your arms as straight as possible. Um, come up to about maybe shoulder width apart and keep a slight bend on your elbows. That's going to pretty much take up all the tension off the triceps, leaving all the tension on the back. Now, dumbbell... Uh, Dumbbell uh, back rows is the next one we got here. And this one is pretty basic. Uh, the only thing that I can say is that when you're doing dumbbell uh, rows, pretty much let the, the dumbbell come out in front of you a little bit. It's gonna help you stretch out that those lats. The stretch is that much more important than the contraction as well. So don't neglect, you know, taking advantage of the actual eccentric part of each exercise because that's going to give you some added uh, added gains too. Um, but yeah, I went, went a little standard. I think we did maybe like 10 or 12 per arm and then just moved over to the next exercise. Now, ending, we actually, being that we did not deadlift, we were, we did do some rack pulls. As you can see, Barb is out here throwing out 315. Light. I'm telling you, this girl's fucking strong. Um, and I just, 315 wasn't doing much for me, so... I had to go at least 405 and that's I was just repping this shit out just to get a little lower back engagement again I did legs earlier that morning so I wasn't trying to trying to pull that shit off the ground so this is better a good alternative just to pretty much just focus solely on the lower back um, instead of engaging your hamstrings and your glutes here so I hope you guys enjoyed that that uh, commentary video like the video if you did comment below if you have any questions regarding the exercise the the exercise will be in the description down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care guys.